My name is Thomas Bayes Hollis, and I went into the Navy Reserve after I served active duty, and I was a lieutenant senior grade. I had no idea how to get there, but I found out by train to Notre Dame. Well, I was floored because Notre Dame has this beautiful football field. That's the first thing I saw. And I was struck by, in fact, some other kids there joined the class with me and we played football on that field. You know, we kicked the ball around, that sort of thing. But uh, I, I, was, I was rather thrilled because this is a big university and uh, I'm taking on a, a big uh, opportunity with what they call a 90-day wonder course. We were called 90-day wonders throughout the Navy because it was a tough course. Only half of us graduated, the other half flunked out. So it was an accomplishment. It was tough. We were up at five every morning We walked, really marched for about an hour, then we did calisthenics, then we had breakfast, and then we went to classes. We had classes all day long, till five o'clock. So then we get ready for dinner. After dinner, we go to our barracks, do our homework, be in bed by 10 o'clock, no noises, no, no talking, 10 o'clock, period. Lights out, go to sleep. You get demerits, what they call demerits if you do anything wrong, like talk after 10 o'clock. If your shoes aren't shined, you get demerits. The officer would come in, put his finger on top of that ledge there, a little dust, you get demerits. We had to make our own bed, wasn't made properly, you get to merge. So you have a chance to get to merge every day. You get too many to merge, they kick you out, and that's why only half our class graduated. It wasn't entirely because they couldn't do the study work, it was because they got too many to merge for other things. They were very particular. I had a roommate, one roommate. His name was Sandy Horwitz, Jewish poet, never forget him. We used to study together, we'd quiz each other together for examinations and so on. We were real buddies. Sandy Horwitz, he passed. He was very smart. He was smarter than me, really. Navigation, communications, ship handling, rules of the road, anything involved with running a ship. We had to know how to run a ship. They were tough. They're naval officers and they were tough. We had to walk the line. They were very tough. Any little thing wrong, we get demerits. So it was a very tough program. We were in classes all day long. They had oral quizzes, written quizzes, and uh, a lot of guys couldn't take it. Now, one other situation. I was 28 years old. My classmates were 22. They had just graduated from college. They were sharp because they just Study for college. I had been out enough years that I forgot how to study. <laughs> so I had, I had a little tougher than they did, but I made it. But it was a good group of kids, you know. We, we, we enjoyed each other. I remember a fellow named uh, Rosencrantz. He was what they call a Mustang. 
he had gone up through the ranks in the Navy as an enlisted man, made chief warrant officer, and was promoted to a lieutenant. And he was a nice guy, and I enjoyed him. In fact, one Saturday night, we had liberty, and I went to the local bar, and there's Rosencrantz, my, one of my instructors, and we talked and so on. I think he liked me. And anyhow, he was my favorite. But he was tough, you know. He had to be tough, because we were in training, and they just don't give you a commission just because you're a man, you know. You gotta earn it, earn it. so we earned it. He taught gunnery. He was a gunner's mate. He worked, worked his way up through the ranks to a chief warrant officer and then to a lieutenant. We just learned on paper with the gunnery. See, uh, actually, we didn't have to run a gun on a ship. We had gunner's mate who took care of guns, but our job as an officer was to be at the gun during the, na the enemy coming in. But the men did the shooting. They took care of the guns and so on. We just it, more or less in charge. So we didn't have to know all the intricate things about a gun. Just a general knowledge of it. Because we had enlisted men who were specialists. They could take a gun apart and know how to put it together and so on. They were our specialists. That's the nice part about the Navy. We've got these enlisted men who are smart kids. The officer's just in charge. I don't know a lot about a gun. I didn't have to because that man at the gun is a gunner's mate and he's learned all about gunnery. That's his job. I just have to be in charge. That's all. Great feeling, believe me. Because it was a tough program. I was very lucky to get through it. And now I've got an officer's uniform, which I was very proud of. So, it, it, you feel like you've accomplished something. And uh, the other thing is that I like so much about the Navy, how they run it. You've got enlisted men who, who uh, are very knowledgeable and they they do do everything according to Navy standards. They're very good at it. So I'm impressed with the whole Navy organization, and I was proud to be part of it. It's out on the on the football field. You got the command officer in front there, and you have a couple admirals, and you have us in uniform. And it's, it's a great ceremony.